Welcome, Woo! welcome to uh, Double Talk Luau. Yes, we should have done a, a sound check first. Uh, We're going to a hooky lao, Don. A, a hooky lao? Yeah, there's gonna what be. Is that? A gonna be hooky lao? There's gonna be a ho, Don ho. Don ho. We'll be there. Who are you? Uh, me? Yes, I can't tell who Steve, you are. Steve McGarrett. You're Steve McGarrett. Don't call me Dano. Anyway, uh, why are we like this? Uh, well, <laughs> because we were born this way. Oh well, that's why. Uh, oh, there. That now people know who we are. You're Mark, and I'm Michael. We're just and, in a festive uh, mood today. And this is, you know, I was wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I figured, why change? Might as well just change the whole theme of the show into oh. Hawaiian. So we're going to be. Look at that. That's cute. Show yours. Well, that's I've got cute. a mermaid, I yeah. guess. So. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, what we're going to do in a couple of weeks. We have some real coconut water with pulp. I was told by, uh, I, I won't name Karen Roberts from the uh, Oregon Mountain Co-op, to try this uh, coconut water with, <coughs> pulp. with pulp. And she said it's great. And she was right. So we're going to do it. Shake it up, right? We're going to do a little tasting. Yes. And then I figured, well, might as well do pina coladas. Now it's got does definitely has it pulp. It does have pulp in it. Now if you if you tell a lie while drinking this, would uh, it be pulp fiction? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, quite a nice book. You're gonna you're gonna swallow your mermaid. Mm. We didn't click. I wish. Oh, you, you got to click. It's just coconut water with pulp, not coconut milk. That's that's a different beverage. Yes, I never liked. The reason I was surprised was uh, coconut milk, which I've had, is uh, quite unctuous and uh, overbearing. This is pretty tasty. Actually, it's good for you too because it it's is. got a lot of electrolytes and uh, it's got uh, <coughs> fiber and some uh, fiber, and it's also got um, mm. those things that are good for you. Uh, I will let you know. It's got. going to add magnesium. Okay, so then I thought, well, you can't just drink coconut milk, especially when you have these festive glasses. You need pina coladas. So they didn't have any kind of crazy. Pineapple juice in the health food store, mm -hmm. but they did have this crazy mango stuff. Uh, so this will be a mango colada <laughs> without the booze so far, and uh, it's only a matter of time. I'm yes, sure. and uh, it's going to be a little weird. So we'll try that. Okay, that's enough. Yes, and uh, the co-op is going to uh, help us do a coconut water tasting because they the co-op has like uh, a half dozen types of. Coconut waters. Uh oh. Hmm. What's it? Not bad. The Not two bad? together. Did you? I kind of like stir? it. Did you well, stir? I no, I swished. I put my tail in there. I mean, my fish's tail. You can put your mermaid's tail in there. Oh, I don't dare. Ooh. Don't worry. Ready for the we milk? Took it. Yeah, and then we're gonna. Are we gonna have a? Are we gonna roast that pig, Michael? Please. This is pretty good. You know, the coconut and the mango. They go well together. Work really well. It's sort of just like coconut mm. and pineapple work well together. Mm, it's like a party in my mouth. It's a refreshing drink. Um, anyway, so for those of you who who uh, don't want to uh, go out and figure out what kind of uh, coconut uh, water to get, this is uh, <coughs> Taste Nirvana Coconut Water. Well, this is the usual Adwala. In the coming weeks, we're going to be having, like Michael said, a coconut water tasting episode. Mm. We'll, we'll be tasting probably half a dozen coconut waters. And hey, and things go well. And Maybe we can taste other stuff from the co-op. Mm, that's a possibility. Crazy co-op cheeses and uh, stuff like that. Now, Michael, you have a gardenia over your right ear. Really? Uh, does that mean that you're available, or does that mean you're taken? When we get to the story on Boy Scouts, we'll discuss that. Oh. There's all sorts of signals, you know, in Boy Scouts. Like, I know, see. What does the three fingers mean? Yeah. Well, then there's yeah. that. Then there's a neckerchief there's, hanging out of the pocket. You pockets. don't know what color Ooh. neckerchief and which pocket. So, uh, is our sequence on this uh, drink? Yeah, thing? we're finished. I like this. Let's stuff. just drink up this and move really on. Good. Mm. Um, now, you know, we'll we're send you a about recipe for this. Kind of talking about Hawaii, got kind of a Hawaiian thing going on here. One thing about Hawaii is it's covered with water. Uh, and um, what? In water, people drowned a lot. Now, I didn't realize. We didn't realize that. I'm going to take happened. these off because we've left the topic well, then now. We'll, go, well, we're talking about Hawaii. Are we going to be done with talking about Hawaii? I guess so. Okay. Um, I'll drink more of this. I was though. shocked to hear that, that 388,000 people drowned every year worldwide. Well, that's going to fill up the lakes, so won't it? That's one death in 10. 10 what? One death in 10. In 10 what? 10 deaths. 10 people? 
every every one person out one of ten people of one, all the deaths one tenth of all deaths uh, are, are because of drowning. drowning. And, and what's um, the other gunshots? Well, there's all kinds of there's, ways. I mean, you got only nine other alternatives there. <laughs> you know, one of your alternatives to drown. What are your other alternatives? Cancer, heart attack. Oh, boredom from watching this show. Well, that's uh, make you slightly insane. Uh, have you ever watched? Have you ever watched the show Hundred Ways to Die? This is one of them. That could be. That's a good show. And uh, so, so there's got to be nine other ways. So, what are you worried about? Well, you want to wear water wings? I know how to swim. Do you? Yes. Okay. Even if you know how to swim, you, there's a likelihood because if you go in after you've eaten an entire roasted pig, you're you're a, likely to drown. That's true. Happen. You should wait um, at least an hour after swimming or before swimming. Right. Or any other physical after activity. After eating. After yeah. eating. An hour after eating. Or you shouldn't eat a roast pig. No. That after you eat a full meal, you shouldn't do anything physical like swim or have sex or uh, or run a marathon. You know. I, after eating? After eating. Oh. So wait. I heard the thing about swimming after you eat is actually a myth. Well, it's totally well, fictitious, and you're not going to die. So well, you're not going so to well, die, but all the I energy mean, is you're going to your stomach around, digesting. If you're flapping around in your backyard pool, uh, you could probably get to the uh, four, four foot mark so you don't have to worry about dying. Well, I oh, think. What is it about? What did you just say about. Uh, most people who drown. Not have sex afterwards? Are, are drunk. <laughs> it's true. They fall out of the boat. They go in swimming when they shouldn't. They drive off the diving board and they hit their head. Uh, terrible things happen uh, when people so are drinking and swimming. So I love your use of statistics. If one out of ten deaths are caused by drinking, then drowning. alcohol or drowning, drowning. then uh, drinking causes drowning. Just no. as no. DWI causes car accidents. How many? So that's a lot of drinking. No, you DWI dr causes people to get DWI tickets. Oh, that's true. Or there's a higher incident of accidents when you have been drinking. Well, uh, when you've been drinking, anything can go stuff. wrong. Not this stuff. Well, unless you're allergic to coconut no, that's or mango. True. You know, I'm allergic to this because it's made in uh, Walnut, California. And you're allergic to walnuts. I know. So I'm a little wary about that. So if I blow up during the show, <laughs> you old guys will be in luck. Then you don't have to listen to me anymore. That's okay. We've got I will blow up. We've got a wide angle lens. Oh, good. Don't spread worry about it. Out. So what are you saying about this drowning? What, uh, how, to prevent drowning, what should people do? Well, either stay Don't out of the water. Yeah, or people learn drown how to a, swim. People drown in bathtubs all the time, too, Michael. Well, that's Children, usually assisted. babies, adults. I, I know, but if you go on to any sort of forensic show, you'll see that they're usually pushed there under. Or and held drinking. under. Yes, right. you know. So, but that's not the type of drowning. You're, you're talking about drowning when uh, you're waving. Any kind of drowning. Isn't it, is it true that you, you can go down three times and that's it? If you, you bounce up and down? Go Remember? down for the third time. Third yes, time well, and then two, you have to three. catch people. You know, I think keeping a flower on your head keeps you aloft a little bit more. Well, the fish might see you and yes, come and, and blow you up. up. How many people of those drowning people were, were s tried to be saved by porpoises? Because porpoises save drowning men. Well, you know, is that a myth or how do they really save people from drowning? They get under them and you grab onto their little fins and, uh, and they, they take you to drag shore? you to safety. Do they? Yeah, and then they eat your feet. Well, you know, just be careful. Hey, look, there's human fins. Don't grab a shark's fin and have it. Yeah, well, if you're on its fin, then it can't bite you. Well, can it? You'd be safe if you're on its fin. Yeah, just make sure it takes you further into the shore as a way, yes. as opposed to away from the shore. A lot of people go swimming in the ocean. The rip current takes them further out and further out. That's a good way to drown because the ocean is pretty tough. I've been caught in a riptide before. Did you live? Yeah, well, not really. No, oh, that's too bad. You call this living? <laughs> hey, I brought the drinks, you know. Uh, that helps you live. Yes. That's for your health. You well, know, you always I know you're a healthy guy. You always were the life of the party. Yes. There's nothing in here but pure juice. And um, Oh, and okay. So you're talking about drowning. Here we are in the middle of the desert. Of the desert. The opposite of the, the ocean. of the ocean or water. In fact, all of the water that's inland is drying up because we're suffering such a wonderful drought. Right. And, uh, but there is the issue of the monument peaks. That's in the desert, isn't it? That's isn't in the it desert. called the Oregon Mountains Desert, desert peaks? peaks Monument Initiative? And there's a, some kind of lozenge or something floating out there. Is that a spaceship? <coughs> yeah. And yeah, um, it's called the moon? So the uh, issue is at hand. People want to uh, turn the uh, Oregon Mountains and other de nearby desert peaks into People. national monuments. Well, the federal government uh, wants that done. The, uh, they do? 
Yes, they do. It's, the, it's an initiative of the federal government. People are all upset how the uh, city council voted to approve this, and they said, well, you're making this into uh, a monument. But it's not the city council that does it. Is they it are just adding their support to the people who want it from the federal side. Now, the federal side is doing it so it's there for the people for generations. You know, we are the people, whoever we are. So you don't, so it's the not The corporations are not the people. The people who are arguing against turning into a national monument are usually the people with vested interests. So it's not a federal land grab? The federal uh, agencies already own that land. They're just trying to make it more stringent and strident and put some uh, uh, safeguards on it so that people don't start ripping the land up. It's not just the Oregon Mountains, it's, it's all around. There's a number of archaeological sites. There's like, well, there's 243 known archaeological sites in these half a dozen areas. And who knows how many unknown archaeological that's true. sites, because that's the beauty of archaeology. You find it. And there's also nature there. Uh, you know, I particularly, you know, this is interesting for me that I really do want the 600,000 acres saved, but, you know, I hate nature. But this way, I figure if that nature is going to be in those 500, those 600,000 uh, acres, yeah. it won't come to my house. Oh, so it's, Keep a, it's it, out there. It's sort of segregation. Keep mm. nature where nature should be so it doesn't start getting me in my urban environment, which I, I approve of. You like to keep nature restricted. Yes, restricted. I see. Well, uh, sometimes I hear the call of nature. <laughs> and then you have to go outside? <laughs> yeah, that's nature for you. Okay. Well, now, speaking of the outside, are we? They want to build. Um, they want to build that uh, ghost town. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You know, usually you build a live town and it turns into a ghost town. It's very prevalent in New Mexico. J yeah, just uh, build it. Why town. wait? Build it as a ghost town yeah. now. The, the Pegasus Project. Planet. That's a plan. Uh, yeah. They wanted to come here. There's Pegasus, the horse, the mythological horse, winged horse. Myth so they say it's mythological. Uh, I think right. it's real. But I think it's more like uh, an Icarus that's going to. Uh, uh, fly, fly too close to the sun, melting its uh, wax and, you know, wings. waxy wings, and it'll die and crash a horrible death, as it has in Hobbes just recently. Well, um, the idea of doing this. They selected died. Hobbes instead of Las Cruces. Well. They, they went to Hobbes. Now they're not going to Hobbes because something happened there that they're not telling us. Uh, I, yeah. Steve Pierce, I don't know what you did to lose Hobbes the Pegasus Project. Yeah, I probably want to Just for that, I'm not going to vote for there. you. That's now, a good reason not to vote for it. Now they want to come back here, maybe. I don't think they should. I think maybe. it's a boondoggle. And Las Cruces doesn't need a big fiasco like the Pegasus Project. Well, you know, they say that it's going to bring billions of dollars of uh, building here. Who's going to pay for it? But what they're going to do, they're going to get grants and stuff. Uh, and what's going to happen I'm is it'll money. fall apart. We're not actually probably going to see any of that money. They think it's going to bring maybe 300 engineers and scientists, possibly two to 3,000 oh. at some point. Oh. But, you know, the, these are like the company, pie in the sky. The company things. itself has one employee and it has two mail drop addresses. It's not even a real company. Where do they drop off the females? I don't know. Oh. But um, it's not even a real, well, no wonder real. they couldn't build in Hobbs. I guess they wanted the Hobbs to build it for them. Yeah. So uh, luckily it doesn't come here. Um, so There's many I other sites that are The mayor wants at. it to come here. He thinks it would be a feather in his cap if he could get the Pegasus Project. It is big. Here. Um, it would be exciting to take walks in a ghost town. It's going to cost, well, all, all you have to do is go to, to Shakespeare. That's a ghost town. <laughs> yeah, Western, that's Western ghost town. Hey, go down to Tortugas. That's almost like a ghost town. Oh, no. So Tortugas is very active Well, people thriving. live there, but, you know, it's like it's out of the past somehow. Anyhow, out of the past, into the future, we're going to have to take a break, aren't we? Uh, yeah, let's take a break. Yeah. And when we come back, we've got even more things to talk about right here on Double Talk. Even more exciting. Welcome to La Buena Vida Women's Club, located away from the crowds but close to home. Come in throughout the day for Jazzercise, the world's dance fitness leader for nearly 40 years. Treat yourself to a relaxing massage. Or unwind the lounge area or outside on the balcony with friends. La Buena Vida Women's Club, located and designed with women in mind. For information, call Diane at 650-9721. Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business, for over 70 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main, see you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors, we're buying a car, it's always a celebration. Time, time, interiors, make 
yourself a beautiful home. The most beautiful homes in Las Cruces have one thing in common. It's Don Tan Interiors, the local experts in granite countertops and fine kitchen cabinetry. When it comes to home improvement, think Don Tan Interiors. Don Tan Interiors, make yourself a beautiful home. Hey, you hit the no, bottle. No. Hit the bottle again. Yeah. Hey, this stuff is healthy. I feel healthier already. Okay. Now, oh, welcome back. Welcome back to Double Talk. Right here, I'm Michael. Here's to and your he's health. Mark. No, wait, that's not right. If you put the names there, we'd know who we were. That would help. But where? That's who oh, we there are. There it is. Right under us. We're going to talk about something uh, close to our hearts. No, we're not. Burning. Burning. Well, you know, because uh, I have heartburn. Well, you know, we are in a drought, and uh, because of that. Las Cruces, Mesilla, the county, all initiated burning bans. Yeah, that looks like Vietnam. You're something. not allowed to burn any of your grass or your weeds or uh, piles of rubbish. Hookahs. Uh, even with a permit, they weren't issuing permits. So, so now... But now Las Cruces and Mesilla have lifted the ban on burning. You can get true. a permit. But the county still has the ban in place. And just because Cruces and Mesilla have lifted the ban on burning doesn't mean they can't re reinf reinforce it. That's true. We've had uh, rain. In fact, uh, coming to the studio, there's little drops and right. stuff. There's a there's some kind of warning out. Uh, get it, you know. On the radio, it said, uh, uh, "Whoever you are, get into your buildings and stay away from windows." But I didn't hear what area it was about, so I didn't worry about it. Anyway, so burning is uh, okay in the city limits. I think that's because the fire departments are closer in the city; they're more tightly knit. Well, no, it's just because we've had rain and the humidity is high. They had rain in uh, all over the county. Yes. Well, yes, but see, the county is, is harder to police. That's what I'm saying, that there's less uh, fire department uh, pe personnel in the county. In fact, I think it's all volunteer. Yes. But, but don't try to start a fire unnecessarily. There's no, just, if you have a bunch of organic material you want to get rid of, just uh, bury it like everybody else. No, you put it out on the side of your house and uh, let the garbage man take it. Well, yeah, so you can have it hauled off to uh, or use landfill. it for compost. But, you know, if you don't have a pickup truck, how do you go, how are you going to get rid of all this stuff? Well, I've got a big pile of stuff. I don't know what to do with it. You know what you need? A friend with a pickup truck. That's, That's the right. way to do it. That's, That's why right. you're not supposed to buy pickup trucks because then you get friends then who you need you. You suddenly get new friends. Yes. So, you know who are willing to help anybody? Boy Scouts. That's true. I was and a Boy Scout once. You were? I was. That's Is that before they banned gays? Uh, mm -hmm. No. Oh. Um, it's, when I was a Boy Scout, there were plenty of gays. They were called Scoutmasters. And um, oh. back then, it was nobody That's not said indictable. anything about it. But now the Boy Scouts have finally come out, and they've made it official. No gays allowed in Boy Scouts. Do you remember, didn't they have a gay uh, Boy Scout head in... Uh, South Park, remember that guy? Gay, gay, gay Boy Scout head? Yeah, the, 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 oh. head, uh, <laughs> the head of the troop. Of course mm -hmm. he's gay. Yes, well, who else would want to hang out with a bunch of little kids? Uh, uh, well, although there are many people who have good hearts and like children just because they're, they're cute. No, I had great respect uh, yes. for, for, the, for the male scout leaders. It's good for boys to hang out with adult men. Uh, and going out camping, you learn great skills, that, which I still have to this day. As far as camping and outdoorsmanship, and really, yes, I, I won all kinds of one. I earned many uh, merit badge, and uh, I had a great time in Boy Scouts. Good uh, for you. It's a shame that they uh, pre are prohibiting uh, gays from even belonging, uh, which I didn't think they could because they take money from the United Way. Mm. So I guess United Way has an anti-gay policy, or whoever gets money from them can do their own policies. You know, if you assume, and this is a statistic someplace that one in ten people, not one in ten dead people like your drowning victims, but one in ten people are gay, that's cutting out uh, an awful lot of kids yes, it is. and people from being in Boy Scouts. They well, probably have the same restrictions in Girl Scouts, too. Yes, well, the military had that same policy for up until a couple of years ago. Well, you weren't allowed to say anything until, oh, a couple of weeks ago. You couldn't even, yeah, no, don't ask, don't tell. Well, don't ask, don't tell was was kicked out uh, a while ago, but now. But there were always homosexuals in, in the military, and there always will be. Why yes. not? Yeah, well, they can't all go to theater. That's true. Or <laughs> hairdressing, it's an, right? Or, yes, but we're not stereotyping. No, no. Why would we do that? No, we kid the gays like uh, we kid everybody else. They kid us. Who? We kid the Boy Scouts. But uh, I wish the Boy Scouts would. Who kids would. us? 
Who you mean doesn't? there's a lot of jokes about us well, out I'm there in the in the world that well, uh, we're not hearing? Well, you. Yes, about uh, our show. No, just I've heard them about you too. So, uh, no, uh, we uh, we so we support gays in the Boy Scouts as really? we do everywhere else. So yes. they have their own support. No, they don't. You know that that little the three finger thing, salute. The little three. Does that mean anything? You know, because that means gay, Boy Scouts. Two gay, fingers is Cub Scouts. Oh, there, there's a lot of symbolism and meaning in, in gay uh, signage. Well, I wouldn't know. This means, uh, uh, what, a threesome? I don't know, threesome? Michael. You don't know? I wouldn't know. What about, were you talking about handkerchiefs in the back pocket before? Well, you know, that used to be the thing. Something? That, uh, I saw the movie Cruising. So you heard? Oh. You did? I did. You were cruising? With uh, Al Pacino. You better not fall overboard because, you know, one out of ten people, one people die. die. So you better watch out. That's right. Al Pacino. Anyway. Enough about that. Let's go to a park. Sunland Park. Sunland Park, the community that's br brought us so much drama in our lives. Many people indicted, uh, different types of uh, uh, legal things going on. But now the next step is close the library because they can't afford it. Well, they've, they've blown all their money. There's been a lot of malfeasance with the finances in Sunland Park. And people have been stealing money and th they've been misappropriating it. So don't have enough money to keep the plus library open. Uh, plus, they're spending a lot of money on legal fees. You think? So they're closing the library. They can't afford to keep the library open and pay the staff. At and least they're planning on doing it. They're talking about it. They may have to sell off all the books. And we know how much books get because we actually just did a charity book sale. Did you? You could spend your whole life reading books. Having a book? No. Ha well, you could. You should spend your whole life reading books, but. You could spend your whole life uh, selling books, and if they are not like special editions or first printings, they're not worth too much because nobody reads books. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that this isn't the city of Alamogordo because there they would just burn the books. That's true. Or Beatles albums. Didn't they burn Beatles albums because uh, John Lennon said he was more said famous the Beatles were more popular, than more popular than, than Jesus. Jesus. Well, they also burned the Harry Potter books there and other oh, books as well. Those. Well, you know, that's anything to do with. Voodoo or witchcraft. But people don't buy books anymore. They have their nooks and their Kindles and their e-books. Well, it saves paper, doesn't it? It saves paper. And but storage. You have to use uh, uh, incredibly rare chemicals and minerals to make those things. And then you have to go into countries in Africa where they have a lot of uh, killing and well, so and if you read your books at night, those Kindles at night, yes, you have that blue glow. There's a blue glow. Comes up. So they say there's something called e insomnia, that where blue light and spending your time in front of blue light, blue light wakes you up. So if you read your right. book at night, it's going to it's going to change your circadian rhythms to think that you're supposed to be awake. I actually read. Uh, I have a nook. Uh -huh. Not not just a nook. But uh, a, a, like a nook book? Yes. Uh, you could set that for uh, gray, so it's not blue well, anymore. I, I, I came out to have the blue light special. That's right. And um, you used to eat those blue lights. And I used to go to the cafe where they had the blue plate special. And you'd stay awake? And uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. Kmart is so boring that they need blue light to keep you awake. To keep you awake. It's just uh, That's their, true. their specials are nothing to like go crazy about. The, their specials are what Walmart, I hate to uh, push Walmart, it's what Walmart has all the time. What? Specials? Well, good good sale prices. Oh, well, okay. You don't have to worry about being in a certain place at a certain time saying, blue light special, and then you go from, uh, you know, little kids clothes all the way over to swimming pool chemicals. Well, look, if, if at least people who have a job can afford to go shopping, and 30% oh. of the workforce Work in, are public employees. In, well, pretty much in Las Cruces. They work for city, city, county, federal, state. state. Federal. Uh, so uh, that's quite a voting base. Um, everybody, if everybody's working for the government, then they're yeah, all voting for the government. Well, that sounds pretty good. So everybody who's working for the government, vote for the government. Vote not to cut government spending. If you cut government spending and you're a public employee, you are hoisting your own petard. In other words, dare I say that? Uh, well. I don't wear a leotard. Oh, how about a putard? Well, okay. If if you if you cut government spending, there goes your job. And some candidates say they want to cut unnecessary spending. When you cut unnecessary spending, that means you're cutting somebody's job, doesn't it? 
Hmm. Well, and if you're supposed to be out there to make jobs, and then you cut jobs, how does that make sense? Well, I mean, the more government jobs we have, the closer we are to socialism, right? No. Socialism is a place where the uh, government owns all forms of production. Since we no longer produce anything, that's why we don't have any jobs. Well, you know, uh, isn't a library a form of uh, socialized books? Uh, socialized library? I mean, we have socialized police departments, socialized fire departments. Well, that's true. That's for our safety and for our intelligence. Boy, time's just moving along here. And so, <laughs> so we're going to move on too. And and here's to you know, well, you knew this before. Yes. Hotel Encanto is bringing in Gardunos. Yeah. Well, it didn't. It didn't fly the first time. What Once makes again, you think it's going to fly the second? They were in wherever uh, De La Vegas is now. Mm -hmm. De La Vegas is doing pretty good because you know they know how to make drinks. I like De La Vegas. Yeah, me too. Gardunos. Gardunos was so weird when it was in the space. The food wasn't that good. The, 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 service, the service was lousy. You know, when you walked in there, you felt like you were in, you know, an Indiana Jones movie. It was so grandiose. It was. They spent a fortune on the interior, and then they had to take it all away. And, and several of the Gardunios have gone under. When I say several, I mean, I thought most of them. Well, I don't know. We used to live in Albuquerque 20 years, so years ago. Gardunios was considered pretty good, and I went to Gardunios then, as I'm sure some of you on TV land did, and it was good. Well, It was good. I don't know. What they got to do well, to make it work here? Well, n number one is Las Cruces, and you know how Las Cruces is. Uh, well, you know, do you think we have any competition in the Mexican food market? Uh, yeah, uh, just, like just so what this town needs, one more Mexican restaurant. Well, you know, people consider the, the peak of uh, Mexican food, like uh, fancy Mexican food, si senor, well, or La Posta, that's right? That's, well, it's that's more turisto tourist, cor corporate th That's Mexican. what you're looking for. If you have guests coming in from out of town, you don't want to take them to uh, my brother's place or to Nelly's. Why not? Because I, I do. they'll catch their tongue on fire. Good. Now well, we got to keep moving. Yes. Yeah, also, you know, Viva Las Cruces is a show that's on Channel 98. Viva Las Cruces. Coming up Wednesday from 6 to 7. I have to mention that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also on Fridays. Now, there's pet adoptions coming up uh, today, today, Saturday, at the Southwest Environmental Center downtown Main Street. That's, uh, well, that's un until noon. So you, you can rush down there now. What? Or you can run over to Petco until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Pet adoptions, dogs, cats. Uh, Elephants, same. giraffes. Giraffes are very good. Rescue, rescue a pet. Don't go out to a pet store and buy one. But rescue one, they'll, they'll be much happier and they'll be much better pets. And, and with see that, you we have to wrap up. We'll see you next week. Michael week will after. be on vacation, but I'll be here next week right here on Double Talk. Mm. <laughs>